Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk about the discount window. You know, there's a lot of different tools uh, that the Federal Reserve will use and uh, different commercial banks will use uh, to manage their own risk. But some of these tools we can actually use as indicators of our own. It gives us a little bit of a, a unique insight into the markets. Now, the discount window is simply... I will first talk about the discount rate. It's the interest rate charged to commercial banks and other depository institutions on loans they receive from their regional Federal Reserve Bank's lending facility. That lending facility is called the discount window. So essentially, it's the interest rate charged to commercial banks uh, from each regional Federal Reserve. Now, during periods of recession, the Federal Reserve stimulates growth by lowering the discount rate. It's lowering the interest rate that banks can borrow. Uh, and then banks, in turn, will then lower their own interest rates. Now, this is announced every single day, and it's usually something that's not talked about very much. It's not really reported. Uh, now, we see here the red line is the S&P 500. Uh, the blue uh, area chart is the discount window, and we can see that over time, as the S&P 500 has moved up, the discount window has also uh, risen, hitting levels of uh, right around 3% June of 2019, Obviously, 2020, we had a huge stock market uh, pull down, and at that time, the discount window was drastically cut. Now, this is not really representative of how we can usually use the discount window because it was cut all at once to respond to the stock market crash. However, during periods of recession and also during periods of stock market rallies, we can use a discount window uh, to really gauge the the level of confidence that the banks have and they and simply put the the level of interest rate that they borrow from the federal reserve now here's a period of 2014 to 2018 and we can see the discount window uh, late 2014 was hovering right around uh, 0.75 percent roughly during that period of time the uh, S&P 500 uh, was around 2000 roughly over time, as a stock market rally between 2014 and 2018, the discount window continued to rise over time. And we can see that there's a very strong correlation, very simply, that as stocks rise and uh, the economic growth continues uh, to improve, we see also the discount window rise. However, take a look at 2008. Now, 2008, of course, we know was a major market sell-off, but it didn't happen all at once. And the discount window really gave us an insight to what was to come, what was coming, meaning weakness in the stock market. Take a look at, uh, we're looking here, August of 2007, the S&P 500 is hovering around 14, 1500. The discount window at that time was six and a quarter, 6.25%. Well, by just within a few months, maybe one or two months after that, the discount window was then cut to 6%, and then it was cut again. Notice, now we're at 5.25% from 6.25% in October of 07. During that period of time, between August and October 2007, the S&P 500 was still in the trading range between the 14 to 1500 level. Maybe some economists actually predicted that the stock market was going to make new highs. But those of us watching the discount rates uh, were able to see that the banks were, being, were able to borrow money at a much lower interest rate from six and a quarter to five and a quarter. In fact, when the stock market really started to break January of 2008, we're looking at the discount window that was around 4.75%. So it dropped one and a half percent, 150 basis points between August 07, January 08, when the stock market really started to begin to go down. By the time we had the, the stock market accelerate lower, uh, now this is obviously the crash that we know about, September 08, the discount window was already down to 2.25%. So point being, that during periods of economic growth, the discount window will slowly rise over time. And it does give us a level of confidence and a level of uh, correlation that when the stocks are going up and we don't know, well, is, are the, is the stock market going to continue to go up? 
Well, we look at the discount window, and the discount window in this case between 2014 and 2018 was starting to rise. However, if stocks are wavering, maybe they're in a trading range, and then all of a sudden we see the Federal Reserve really cut the discount window, well, maybe that should you know set off a red flag and make us aware of other conditions out there. Well, fast forward to current uh, present day, we see the S&P 500, uh, it's around a 4,000, 40, 50 level. The discount window here are the white histogram bars. They were 4.75%. They were just raised over here uh, to a 5%, which is the current level. Now, of course, this is not a trading recommendation. There are a lot of different factors that go in uh, to influence you know, how we should uh, make our trading decisions. And also, do not forget about what happened in 2020. In 2020, the stock market dropped all at once and if you look at the data very closely the discount window did not give us a heads up for that it did not give us uh, a forewarning as far as what was to come because again that 2020 crash happened all at once but 2008 it started to roll over a little bit more slowly and the discount window did just did in that case give us uh, a, a warning as far as what was what was to come but again, present day, we see the stock markets in the trading range. And for the time being, the discount window looks like it's flat, slightly trending to the upside. But we're going to continue to watch this very closely. And of course, we'll, we'll update you with any uh, significant changes along the way. We hope this has been helpful. We look forward to seeing you back soon.